My name is uh, Iyad Al Saka. I'm one of the uh, seven partners in uh, OMA. I um, joined OMA in uh, 2007. I was always hired to work with OMA as a director for the uh, Middle East and uh, Northern Africa, or more or less in Arab world. I come from the Arab world. I'm, I'm Syrian national. The period from uh, 2004 when OMA started engaging with, with the Gulf, it was mainly focused uh, in, in the UAE. The Gulf region was the most active uh, region in the, in the Arab world. Um, the first thing um, that OMA did prior to my joining was the exhibition about the Gulf in the Venice Penale. And this exhibition was about introducing what's happening in the Gulf region and especially more or less the, uh, uh, Dubai uh, for, the, uh, for the world to take it more seriously. Obviously uh, the Gulf region had a lot of negative reviews about it of what's happening at that period. So the exhibition highlighted more or less to, to, to the Western world you know, uh, to take the, uh, um, the region more seriously, especially in kind of in the urbanization point of view. And OMA has its own kind of uh, uh, share of contribution in a different level uh, in the region. Um, uh, since then, our portfolio spread more. We started to work more in Kuwait and in Saudi and not focus only in the UAE. You know, uh, in addition, uh, what you could consider a remote Arab board was already OMA had a lot of um, work or in Morocco. You know, so it's kind of more or less the west and the east side of, the, of, of both of the Arab world. You know. In 2008, the crisis took place. Obviously, a lot, we, we had a lot of projects going on there. Uh, everything went on hold almost uh, uh, in within two and four weeks. Um, what this, uh, it gave it give us the opportunity to um, engage in the Arab world in a different way and it gave us also the opportunity to rethink how we get engaged. Uh, um, so we had more, um, we went in two directions. One of them is more very selected clients uh, to deal with who already um, have the same preoccupation that we have uh, when dealing on, on master plans and so on. For example, the project behind you is one of the master plan in Dubai that actually we introduced after the crisis. And we also started exploring other Arab countries that they were completely not in the spotlight. And um, due to the specific political and economic condition of this Arab country, for example, like Egypt, like Syria, like Libya, uh, 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 like Jordan, uh, they have a specific nature that they were more isolated from what happened as an economic crisis in the Western world. These are countries that they are not connected to the World Bank and the IMF and the complete kind of system of uh, the financial system. They didn't suffer much. Uh, the, the Gulf money also, they realized uh, after the crisis that um, uh, the, the kind of funds they realized that investing in the Gulf um, at, at that time or nowadays um, is not the right uh, thing to do. The real capital of people that need development is in, the, uh, in these countries, in Morocco, in Libya, in, in Syria, in Egypt, in Lebanon. So they also the private investors shifted to that area and we also started to uh, more develop our business uh, in that area. So we spent almost 2009 reconsolidating our client, reconsolidating our thought, and we shifted to that region more or less. You know. Um, and uh, we did some interesting work, uh, but again to the specific nature of this project and the specific nature of this country, uh, in a sense, um, who are the clients, um, um, the nature of the project, everything was confidential. Um, so it was not about that we are trying to um, uh, hide our uh, uh, more or less intervention in this country, but rather everything was very confidential, everything was very kind of secretive from the client side. And this continued to date. You know. um, and then in, in the beginning of this year, uh, all our work in this country also started to uh, uh, get affected because of the Arab uprising. I mean, you know what happened in Libya, uh, even in Morocco, and now in Syria, and in, even in Egypt. You had a country like Morocco where our work completely slowed down. Uh, because everybody's anticipating what kind of reform is going to take a place. to places like Libya and Syria where there is almost a civil war now and obviously we can't even go there. You know, uh, to a country like Egypt where our project uh, just continue as it is. You know, and now 
after the revolution of seven, eight months of the success of the revolution went completely uh, on hold because of there is uh, um, uh, there is no civil government anymore. You know, so uh, but I think Egypt have a huge potential, uh, um, and most probably once the civil government is restored, we will be again there. But but what also happened as a positive side to us. Um, certain countries uh, uh, like Saudi, part of the reform that they did that to, uh, is to inject a lot of uh, funds into the public sector and open us a lot of opportunity in Saudi and in Doha and uh, Qatar now to, to work uh, in this public project. And this is why we're busy right now. But again, a lot of these projects are connected to uh, uh, the public sector um, Hardly we can announce them, hardly we can talk about them. Every time we have to talk about them, we have to ask for permission uh, and so on. But we are working in a serious mega schemes. Uh, I think we are now, um, or this work that we are doing, uh, we enjoy it more. It's serious work. It's work that going already, certain project going already under construction. Uh, we can't even show it here. <laughs> uh, um, uh, public projects, uh, projects that related to major infrastructure work um, 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 and I think this is something now we, we are focusing on. Now. Uh, we also trying to monitor very closely uh, the situation on the kind of uprising um, in countries like Egypt and Syria and Libya and Lebanon and Morocco um, and in Tunis and we already have enough network and enough collaborators to know when we can go there. You know, and we're trying to, to be there uh, as early as we can once, once civil conditions are restored.